geography optional students and gs geography section a very important question for your 2023 is fujiwara effect what is fujiwara effect to summarize this effect was known uh, and given by sakoi fujiwara he was a japanese meteorologist and in 1921 he cited first such case of a typical cyclonic behavior where two strong cyclones come together with a distance of less than 1400 kilometers and they intensify intensify they could be of the same size if they are of the same size and they intensify they could lead to a probably bigger storm which is extremely dangerous in nature now this phenomena can lead to depression at a rate of 63 kilometers per hour uh, or it could lead to a super typhoon with a rate of 209 km per hour wind speed that means these cyclone could see enormous intensification over the time period one of the very important merger which was witnessed was in 1964 in western pacific and this was the merger of typhoon mary and typhoon kathy later on we also saw three important typhoons merging and those were irwin hilary and greg of which irwin and hilary were actually bigger in size there are five different ways in which this fujiwara effect can take place two of them is staining out partial or complete and two of them is merger out partial or complete what is staining staining is when there are two uh, vertex both of them are unequal in size now when they are come co when they are coming close to one another a part of one is lost when a part of one is lost it is known as partial straining when one of them is completely lost it is known as complete staining now when staining occurs it would lead to depression when merger occurs it would lead to super typhoon so in merger again it could be partial or complete in nature now there is again merger of unequal size of vortex if part of it merges with the bigger one from the smaller one we call it as partial merger out or if the whole of the smaller merges with the whole of the bigger we call it as a complete merger there could be another instance besides these four instances that we have quoted and that is elastic interaction now elastic interaction occurs when the vortex could be of the same size could be of the different size but this is most commonly seen interaction and this only results in one thing what is that that thing is very important since it is elastic interaction that means only the direction of the motion would change as simple as that so five important ways under which this fujiwara effect can take place i repeat again one is staining out this is staining out can be partial or complete when a part of it is lost or complete another one is lost it could slow down it to a speed of 63 km per hour the other is merger where it could speed up because one of the cyclone is completely merged into other we call it as complete merger or partial merger when a part of it is merged into the major cyclone and the the fourth so this is one two Three and four, and then the fifth one, which is elastic interaction. Elastic interaction could occur between the two vortex of the same size or different size. It could be any, but the only resultant phenomena is a change in direction of motion, and therefore it is the most commonly witnessed. So, in most of the cases, when two cyclones come closer to one another, there is a change in the direction. It does not turn out to be a super typhoon, but in case it turns out to be a super typhoon, it becomes significantly damaged. Uh, damaging to the nearby areas so this was a very important topic under climatology meteorology or uh, geography we can say uh, be prepared for more such important current topics for your mains preparation below would be the link for your guidance have a wonderful day if you have any questions feel free to raise questions in the comment section